Hi folks, this is all the fruit and here I'm in the monkey puzzle tree or Araucaria forest. I'm at the exotic forest of Weinheim, the oldest and biggest exotic forest in Germany, foraging for the tasty Araucaria nuts, which are not just tasty but also huge and plentiful. The whole Araucana nation in South America subsists on those nuts in addition to selling them <coughs> to a lot of outsiders. And well, here in Weinheim, there is a whole forest of them. Well, how was the Araucaria or the monkey puzzle tree discovered? Well, when we talk about discovered, we usually mean by the Europeans and very often we mean by, oh God, somebody must have found my backpack down there on the trail. I hope they don't take it with them. Well, so basically, when we say discovered, we usually mean by a handful of Western European nations. Mostly people don't care if natives have known a plant for thousands of years. So of course, the Araucana Indians, they subsided on this plant for thousands of years. It has huge cones the size of melons and inside those cones there are seeds the size of basically the size of your pinky finger or if you are lucky even bigger. Yeah, not bad for a conifer. Then of course the Spanish colonial powers they discovered them probably by trading with the Araucana Indians four to five hundred years ago. But then about 200 years ago, some of those famous ships came along. What was it? Well, one of those famous explorers. Was it Cook? Was it Darwin? Was it? Well, it was some of the important guys. But at this time, Britain was at war with Spain, so they were not being allowed to go inland. I think they went to, I, I think they went to, uh, ta, 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 to Santiago de Chile and wanted to explore the inland and, and wanted to explore um, the inland of, um, of Chile and the Andes Mountains. They were not allowed because war. There was no war in this area, but it's enough that the war was declared. So the Spanish were very friendly to them, but did not allow them to go there. And in order to please them, to still please them, they invited them to a party. And the botanist of the ship collected some strange nuts from this party, which he was not allowed to do. They were not allowed to take specimens, not even from the table on the party. Brought them to Britain and the strangest tree in the world grew out of them. Look at those things. They don't have leaves, they don't have needles, they have scales. It was called monkey puzzle tree because somebody said climbing this tree would be a big puzzle for every monkey. And it became quite popular in France and Britain and nowadays even in the mild areas of Germany. I remember 30 years ago those trees were like one meter tall shortly after being planted. And back then I already knew bigger Araucaria trees here in Germany but no fruit. Since then I stumbled on the fruit only on two occasions fruits in Germany like no actually the fruits are here the cones are here but the seeds are usually unpollinated because there are not enough partners for pollination so I thought this forest here I'll wait for decades until they get good cones I mean they sure must get pollinated with so many pollination partners around here and then I'll harvest the tasty nuts well 30 years later, I managed to come here. I braved the over four meter high, almost vertical sand cliff to come up here. Actually not sand, but kind of gravel like stuff, but still vertical. And unfortunately they are not in season. There's only one tree down there, which has cones. It has some disintegrated cones. So the seeds must have fallen to the ground. It has some big cones and some young cones. And unfortunately from down here I cannot show you any of those. 
well but since there are a couple disintegrated cones you can still see the central spindle on the tree the only thing I need to do is search on the ground for seeds and what I see here is quite disappointing a lot of those scales but there is nothing inside nothing well I mean there are some there is some hope because look this one there was a weevil or a buck or something inside there wouldn't be anything inside any insect inside if there was nothing to eat there this here well it kind of looks like there was an, a nut here at some time so maybe I'm just at the wrong time of the year I'm coming here about once a year or once every two years always hoping for a good Araucaria nut harvest this year I, for the first time I had a good Bunia Bunia harvest down in Italy so I hoped I could repeat this with a more frost hardy Araucaria Araucana here in Germany but it's a disappointment so at least folks I can show you well even the even the view is not so great because the forest is situated exactly above this cliff I think in order to protect people by falling from falling cones those can hurt you seriously the view is not the greatest because I'm in the middle of the forest but the trees are still crazy and impressive this is one of the oldest tree species in the world by the way a living fossil that's why you will find them from time to time in dinosaur movies or dinosaur movies will be shot and then the background of an Araucaria forest will be added to the dinosaurs well the dinosaurs will be made by CGI and then a background of an Araucaria forest will be added usually not a forest looking like this but an Araucaria a natural Araucaria forest looking very different yeah so finally I made it into this forest I've been looking at it just from beneath the cliff for decades but there is still nothing nothing edible here nothing to harvest nothing to forage nothing to eat what a pity so folks tell me where do you know in Europe where monkey puzzle trees do produce edible cones and seeds I really want to go there and harvest some apart from that stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the crazy interesting exotic forests of Weinheim and don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.